Hello, and thank you for joining us this month's ACMC Wellness Kitchen. I'm here with John from our business development department with me, and I'm here with Jim from Sunrise Live. We've had him one other time to join us. We made a- And they invited me back. We Oops. brought him back. We had such a good response, a good time. It was so much fun. Um, I do get a little worried though when we have him out because we don't know what he's going to say or what he's going to do. You know what I was thinking when we were doing the these things? I was thinking, I'm you worried. guys all remember, probably some of you folks more my age remember the Galloping Gourmet. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. He knows. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm the rickety gourmet. When you have bad legs <laughs> like this, I'm kind of rickety. So we don't know what we're going to make in the end, but it's going to be really good. Well, it's exactly. glad to be here. And I grew up in the South, so we had Justin Wilson, oh, a Cajun yeah. chef. Put on them spices. <laughs> Whatever it was. Oh, that so fine. So fine. <laughs> I so miss all of this. I don't remember. Well, we grew up in the PBS generation, so we any regrets yet, I Allison? Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. I may right. have some regrets inviting We're so glad to be these here. two. I know. I know. You know why I know this is a great little thing that you do for people at ACMC. First of all, I watch the stuff that you guys put out. Your wonderful videos. They're always Thank well timed. You. They're not too long or too short. You learn something. I'm not a chef by nature, and the stuff that you show to make is always easy. It's available in your pantry or easy stuff at the store, and it's pretty good for you in the end, too. So those three things, I think, make it fun. Absolutely. So. You know what? I will tell you, normally we do do a healthier diet. Okay. But the colder weather is coming. What they got on today? <laughs> well, the colder weather is coming. We thought we'd do a little bit of Ooh, pasta. That's an something, idea. Yeah, something, a yeah. uh, little casserole to stay home with. Or, you know what, my favorite thing is, I know the holidays are coming up, and you always want to take something different for the holidays. This is my go-to dish that I take oh, that everybody loves. when you're invited somewhere, you're supposed to bring stuff. Well, thank you for helping me with that. <laughs> I didn't realize that. There's There's another first tip of the day. I'm right already there. learning things, and we just started. So well, and that's great. funny, because he came in here, he said, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it for you. That's so, a dangerous statement, That too. is a dangerous so statement. So what are we going to do today? What are you thinking of? So this is a, it's a little bit of a diced tomato. I oh. normally get the seasoned. Okay. I will get the um, diced and tomatoes. These are petite. They're not the big ones. They're, They're not. Petite. They are the petite. And it's the basil, garlic, and herb juices and all. We're dumping it it's all, all there. into it. Now it's all there. So we're going to just get that. And there's We've a block of cheese a here. A block of sharp cheddar cheese. We're going to have you start cutting that up for us. I'm going to start cutting that. Uh, yeah, just a we minute need here. one taste tester. We look at look at me on these knives. I got you. the gizmo. Gizmo. What are these things called? Gizmo knives. I know the gizmo is. is I am blocking this cheese right up. You block it as right it up. will do later. Yeah, yes. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> John's editing this film as we speak. I'm, I'm editing the potato right. bomb. While I'm doing cheese, you have something in this container. You know too. what? What's we're just going to dump all that, all that in there. Yeah. Now or later. You can do it now? now. Yeah, dump it in there. I can do it now. We normally are going to dump this into a casserole dish that that's, goes right into that's the... That's why the spoon's there, Jim. The... <laughs> well, Jim's downstream with the noodles. You've heard of career-ending shows? Well, <laughs> It's maybe the demise there, of Jim These Colco. noodles are, were in the fridge. They're a little yes, cold to save we time. I it. There we, we go. boiled the noodles. There they are. And you know what? They actually say when you boil your noodles, you want to do it for about eight to ten minutes. Eight there to ten go. minutes is going to give you a little al dente. A little there you go. And when you put that in there, it'll soften those sure right up. So I can put that in now? You can dump it all in there. This is so you two saw the noodles. Cans. Okay. Yeah. How two much is this? of the two diced cans. herbed spiced tomatoes. Let's get this in there. Dump it all in. Let's get that in without a spill on the table. And we're going to have you go ahead and cut up that cheese while you... So you're actually asking me to cut cheese. I am asking you <laughs> to cut the cheese. All right. Remember, you heard it here first. Right, let's get but cutting while you're like, talking. But like we said, we, we have a doctor for that here. <laughs> you know, ACMC does have a doctor for everything, and they are my personal physician. So I'll just let you know a little secret right there. Yeah, yeah. All right, how am I doing so far? You're all staring that's at me it. like I. No, I'm, that's perfect. That's perfect. Like I'm Michael Myers on Halloween. Yeah. So here we go. You can actually leave them the larger size. Oh, you want me to do that? Yeah, you okay. sure can. I do a big, uh, an array of sizes because this cheese really doesn't melt down. It's not a creamy. It's going to get. It oh. just kind of chunks up. Oh. So it's it chunks up with the tomatoes and the noodles. So this is not a creamy macaroni okay. and cheese. This I is see really what you're a, saying. It's really a casserole. 
If you want to buy just your regular tomatoes with nothing in it or use your own tomatoes at home, add your own herbs, add your own garlic, you can do that. But to save a little bit of time, we just use can. At home, I have a garden and I have garlic and all of those herbs, so I do like to make my own. What's so. the herb? <laughs> You just keep cutting the cheese. Are she, just, are she just better than all the rest of us here? With your no, little garden, with your little herb garden. You know what? June shows me up. When we do, like last month, we June came in with all of her garden, her garden, her herbs, everything. It was a. And how did how was was she? Is she good at gardening? She is very good at gardening. That's June. Well, she's not here. We can talk about her That's today. Right. That's wonderful. That's all right. right. Here we go. Do I need to keep the whole block or what do you want? Yeah, more? keep cutting it up. And if you want to throw some in there as we're as we're cutting, so normally. John and I will go over to Sunrise Live and we see Jim. We tell In us my bit, environment. <laughs> yes, tell us a little bit about your environment. Well, we have a studio that we do a morning show from over on the far east side of Kanye. And if you go much further than where the studio is, you will be in the state of Pennsylvania. That's how far over we are. It's really Route 20. It's called East Main Road. And every morning, Monday to Friday most weeks, we have a morning show called Sunrise Live with Jim from 7.30 to about 10.00. And well, today it's funny. We are now operating our show on a app, kind of like a Netflix or a Hulu or whatever, instead of regular cable television. And I used to have a time frame where I had to get in and out of the open spot of time on cable TV. And if I had somebody I was really interested in talking with and it was 10 o'clock, we could keep on talking in the studio, but it would switch back off to the other programming because there was an this is our channel. I went to 1010 today. I loved it. Nice. So anyway, nice. We have, yeah, we talk with all sorts of community people, doctors, teachers, business owners, small business owners. I mean, politicians come in when they're brave enough. All of that. So we talk to everybody. We've gone out there and we were just talking about our veterans dinner that we're going to have. I got the full story about how they were eavesdropped on by somebody here in town and we I loved were, it. We were. There ben were a short few, figure. There, that's right. There were a few of us out talking about how we wanted to honor our vets. What could our organizations mm -hmm. do to do something nice for them to thank them um, for... And did I hear you talking about vets? And that's exactly <laughs> what Ben from the <laughs> Veterans Service Commission, he did and he sat down and we have a wonderful event plan. Please look on our Facebook. You can get all the information on there. So Jim had us out to Sunrise Live. We took all of us. Ah! Just kidding. <sighs> I had to throw one there. On I think we need to call one of our primary care physicians to come check my heart rate. <laughs> From a different floor. Let's From just, a different floor. Just, that's right. the one you need to call over. Oh, you know what? I knew I was doing this Ben is looking at me like you have never been in a kitchen, have you, Jim? <laughs> Because he's a pretty I'm, good cook, I've heard. I'm just, no, I'm thinking about something that Lori Gilhausen, our uh, certified diabetes educator, yes, told Yes, I've me. talked to her, too. Um, we have, like, you, you have the block cheese here. Yes. We have shredded cheese in this bowl. Yes. And she said that if you want to make it a little bit healthier dish, that use more? the block cheese and shred it yourself because there's fewer preservatives on it. Oh, because if you think about it, each one of these has to be, you know, there's preservatives and it's tossed in, it's your thing, so right, to keep mm -hmm. it from clumping. So she said, just shred it yourself. Now that's more labor intensive, but it's healthier. You're, and one little step right there. Yeah, and plus you're working off a few extra calories. Now for those of us that may have uh, wrist strength problems or something like that, that can be your go-to in the bag. Just know that that is going to be a healthier option. All right, so we had about how much cheese was here about this whole one? It was. It was a. I get the large block. Yes. So it's a pound. You still want the rest of this you in there? You sure can. Okay. Why not? All right. It's a pound of pasta. Uh -huh. It is the large block of extra sharp cheese. And he didn't yell out on that one, so I think we're okay. Because I'm in shock right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, folks. I had to try some. All yeah, right. Absolutely. We got that block chopped, and now you got the noodles. And we're going to put it in the casserole the dish, oh, and we man. are done. Let me take your knife away from you, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. That's well, a wise man right there. there. Do that. And that is I, a wise man. I tell everybody, if you want to add some garlic powder on here, if you want to add your own herbs and spices, you go right ahead. But I see the first time you make it, just try it and see how you like it with the diced can of uh, tomatoes in here mm. with the, their seasoning. So we're just going to throw it on here, and then we're going to put it right in the stove. It gets um, at 350 for about 35 well, that minutes. that was relatively simple. Was I really could do simple. that. And I'm going to tell you the amount the people oh, that can't eat let that this, go to waste. We can't let sorry, that cheese go to waste. Sorry, no. 
Everybody asks me, what did you do? Oh my gosh, that's so delicious. I want that recipe. It was a matter you mean when of, you remember to bring a nice dish to somebody's house. I when you're usually invited. always do. I don't get invited out much, but when I, I don't do, either. Now I know I, why. <laughs> now, yeah, this but, is but why. This, the invitation will just start racking up. That's because right. look at that. That's not even cooked yet, and you want to dig right in. Right. She, she's brought this for events at, at the hospital. And Does it go? It's it's probably, really you probably good. take an empty dish home. I do. I do. So if you want me to come to your house for the holiday <laughs> for Christmas. and you want this, I will bring you this dish. <laughs> that looks wonderful. All right. So what do you have for us, John? Well, this oh, is a, a, Jim, this is a pineapple casserole. Pineapple. Now, I this is one of these, the one, you know, in the South, they make casseroles out of everything, right? That's true. So we're, we're in this restaurant. We, we were down there visiting family. We go to the local oh, restaurant so we can get some uh, meat and vegetables and, and have good Southern cooking. And lo and behold, on the menu, it says pineapple casserole. I'm like, well, that's dessert. I don't want that. But then I started looking, and it's, it's in the side dishes. Yeah. And so I asked, I said, what is this pineapple casserole? And they said, well, it's pineapple and cheese and crackers. Well, that's three or four food groups right there. So I, I thought, that that's going to be, that's not going to taste good. So they brought out a little sample of it, and it was so wonderful. And the great thing about this is you can make it really sweet like a dessert, or you can make it less sweet, and it's a side dish. It goes okay. good with pork. It goes good with, uh, so ham. Or pork chops or something like that. Uh, it goes good with greens because it offsets that mm. kind of bitter taste of the greens. I've never had this. This is so, what I mean. This, I've never had it either. This yeah. is one of those flexible recipes that that everybody makes it a little bit differently. I must have read ten or so recipes to figure out what works, what doesn't, and it really is to taste on a lot of this stuff. There's some proportions, but basically, um, you, the easiest thing to do is start with your flour. Use all-purpose flour, sugar, pineapple, butter, and crackers. Buttery round crackers. Oh, yeah. So, you know, if you... Now, if you want to use more flour, you can uh, you can make it like a cobbler. So okay. it would be really sweet I got like you. that. On the... Uh, so I'm going to start with two tablespoons of the flour. Okay. So keep that handy because we, right. we may need more of it. Now, the sugar, this is the one where they, it varies so much in the recipe. Some people use a third of a cup. Some people use a whole cup of sugar. I'm tent no. I, <laughs> no. 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 No, I'm just kidding. Uh, some people use brown sugar. Some people oh. use white sugar. I'm of the, the frame of mind that you let the pineapple sweeten it. Okay. And when I talked to Lori Gilhausen, she said that you're going to get a lot of sugar in the pineapple already. Okay. So go light on the sugar. Rely on the pineapple for that. Okay. But um, you do need a good amount of sugar, but I'm just going to start with that and I emptied some in there too, so I'm going to dump that in there. Now, this is the tricky part. That's the crushed pineapple. Um, a lot of recipes call for two 20-ounce cans of chunked pineapple. But I found out you really need that crushed pineapple to give it that pineapple texture all through the dish. Um, and a lot of people have that recipe. With these pull tops, however, it's easy because we want to use the liquid out of this Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. to do that. Now, you can buy whatever kind of pineapple, pineapple you want. You can have the political pineapple, the Bob Dole pineapple, or you can have pineapple <laughs> where you get a great value out of it. So okay. Okay. however you want to do it. So you take that, and you're going to mix this up so that it forms like a little slurry type. Uh, yeah, there it goes. Yeah. So, I have uh, never seen anything right. like this. No, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you can smell the pineapple. Yet. I love pineapple. Yeah, so, yeah. You too. We're in good shape so we far. We're in good shape. So, that mixes up. And the more flour you use, the whiter it is. The less flour you use, it's a little more yellow or tan okay. color. So, if you want more, if you wanted the consistency of a casserole or a cobbler, you put more it up or, Yeah. Okay. Sure. okay. So, Jim, you want to stick a finger in there and try that just to see what that's like? I trust you. I know I've been watching you over there. Oh, I definitely got the pineapple. Okay. Yeah. Is it too much sugar? That's the No, pleasure. it doesn't taste overly sweet. It's okay. just pineapple. Yeah. And, sure. you, and you know that and you'll know if you have too much sugar because no, you taste sugar, good. not pineapple. I need so. a straw from here to there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that so is good. But no, I, am, I am going no, to pour good. the rest of this. Oh, before I do that. Uh-oh. You know, here's the thing. I made I made this yesterday to make sure that 
I, all the ingredients work together, and so we have one to show you later. And there was no way there was enough liquid in that contain in that can yesterday. I had to actually go get some pineapple juice out of mm. the, out of the pantry to add to it. This is like nothing but juice okay. in here. So I've got depends plenty on the of can, that. huh? Depends yes. on the can. Oh, Jim, can you do me a favor? What would you need me to do? Uh, your knife skills are needed again. We're going to use a. Uh, we'll use this one. Okay. I'm going to hand that to you. Yes. And if you don't mind, please cut me off half of that stick of butter. Okay. Because I forgot this has to go in the microwave. And, yeah. The the short half. Yeah. Not the long half. So you, you talk about uh, you just go in that bowl right there. There's the half yep. stick right there. What's what's been your? Uh, I, I've always, I always like doing this because I, I used to have a radio show, so yes. we always compare guests sometimes. And yeah, it's been twenty years since I've been on the air, a little bit long, almost that long. What are some of your favorite type of guests to have on? Not not people, not their names, but what are their favorite types? You know what's interesting? When I have on people. Because uh, I get all types. Everybody's pretty good, but the ones that I found are very interesting. I got a lot of people on that have their own business they've started. Mm-hmm. Because there's a story, why did you decide to make this widget? Right. Why does everybody that was your friends and family say, you've got to make this, whatever it is, because we all want it. Yeah. There are just fascinating stories out there in our little county here in Asheville that have people that make stuff. Those are always fun because they love to tell their story and why they make what they make. So those are some, I would say, and then also the second one, I love having kids on the show. Really? Uh, W.C. Fields said, don't work with kids and animals, I think, or somebody famous like that. I love it. I remember Bill Cosby doing that. (laughs) I, uh, I just had on a Girl Scout troop, but the younger end. Scout Troop 80004 from County. Oh, yeah, from County Ot. And they were just so cute. They talked about what they raised money for. The, the adults stood off on the side and let the girls do all the and talking. They talked and, oh, well, there was two of them that were like terrified. There were six of them that would just talk my ear off and they loved doing it. But they just told little bits about why they like being the Girl Scouts so much. And it was just a lot of fun. How fun. Personal stories are the best. Yeah. Right? We yeah. love stories. Well, have you have you Absolutely. seen it seems like uh, have you seen it change over the years? Because you've been doing this for a number yeah. of years. Have you seen it change where you talk about the business owners? Is it new business owners or business owners getting into different different businesses, but they keep their existing business? Both, because I'll have both. Okay. So, uh, I mean, yeah, I find that they're very interested in what they're doing. And then, of course, if you've got a business that's been around a while, you always want to find ways to attract newer people because you're going to have a usual crowd. If it's a restaurant or if it's a food-based thing, there's going to be X amount of people that want your stuff. If it's things you create that you sell, you might want to add and they, when they add things into their line, but you never want to be stagnant in a personal business because then it starts to, when you stop being interested, we stop being interested. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So you got to, and that's why I guess the best guess is a passionate person. If they love what they're doing, I don't oh, care what yeah. the job is, doctor, nurse, somebody working for the hospital, a media person, if they like what they're doing, my job is easier because they're ready to go. I can lead off, tell your story, you know, just it's just so passionate people are the best. Well, yeah. And you're good about that because you let them talk, but you also Sometimes. can draw things out. <laughs> so you can draw things out of them that, you know, maybe, well, maybe get some of numbers and yeah. all sorts of social security. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Maybe you get somebody that's a little more nervous about being on, but you're, you're there, you're there to facilitate the conversation. Yeah. So that, that's what's good about what you do. And I think in my role too, it's the personal stories. Isn't it? People will come up to me and say, one of your doctors saved my life. One of your doctors, I I came into the emergency room, I needed surgery, one of your doctors saved my life. And I'll ask them if they could share a little bit of their story with me. And it makes me feel more excited about what I do every day when I hear those stories or how sick my daughter was or my child was and your pediatricians helped and those kind of stories that keep you going. It's it's the excitement of hearing. Well, every one of us here has a job. 
Yes. And a job is a job some days. Yes. But then you talk to somebody and they go, but did you know? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Life goes back on again. You get re-energized by those stories. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, and I appreciate hearing about the local business owners because, you know, we, we promote local health care. Mm-hmm. We have the health care in the communities in around Ashtabula County. Not What is it? 90% of Ashtabula County has, has a provider within 15 minutes. Within 15 That's amazing. Minutes. So mm-hmm. we promote local health care. So when we hear about local business owners, we want to go out and, and, and experience that business. If it's something we're shopping for or we want to meal out, I love finding new restaurants and going out yes. and sampling what they have. And like you said, that passion comes through the food. It does. And you had a couple of guests on your show, um, and I didn't know about them. And I went out and bought a couple of their items to put in a bag that we gave away. Really? Because they were on your show, and they talked about their product. Their pa- I know, I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of, but you didn't know about them. I didn't. And sometimes I there's didn't. great folks out there you don't that's ever right. know. That's our little show does that kind of thing. We that's get right. the big people out, but we get everybody out. So. And those people are in our community. Yeah, absolutely. They're, those are the people that we need to support. Those are the people that are paying taxes. They're running their business. They're keeping our community working, and we want to keep them in business. So, yeah. Yeah. Before we get back to this, I see you've pulled your dish out. You want to just let it sit there for we're a few minutes? We're going to let it sit okay. here until we're ready to serve. Right. We can go All ahead right. and finish Sounds that. Good. Well, Jim, if you don't mind, so we're going to put you to work. All right, what are you doing? I'm going to swirl it up a little bit. Take these crackers, mm-hmm. and I trust your, your hand, just because okay. just, uh, just crunch them up. They don't have to be finely crunched, just, just finger in there? crunched in there. Yep. All right, let's do some of Yeah, this is the noisy part. This is therapeutic. How is that? <laughs> My enemies in my hands, <laughs> <laughs> grinding their bones. No, I don't have any. I don't have any enemies. Don't worry about that. <laughs> oh, this no, is not fun. with as many people uh, come to see you on a daily well, basis. You'd be surprised, but it's yeah. a little, a little, 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 Oh, I failed John already. That's okay. That's all right. How's that? Do you like that better? Yeah, better. yeah there you all go. Right. <laughs> that's it. Get the Hercules grip going. Yep. All right. Oh, that's a good one. That's right there, a good. Guys. That's and a good. the last four. Look at. I can do this. All right. Go ahead and take this. Fork here. Yes. We'll use this since Allison got these out for us. I did. Go ahead, go ahead and stir that up so it gets good and buttery through there. The butter's all on the bottom. So. Yeah. Let's get this so basically, stuff. it's a half a stick of butter. You can use a little more if you want to. You can use less. Butter substitutes are okay. Are um, they? Yeah, they're okay. That's going to change the flavor a little bit. Um, and Lori Gilhouse has had some good points on this. That if you are, are gluten intolerant, you can change out the flour in this for um, tapioca. Will hmm. work. Corn starch will work as well. Okay. Uh, there are some other uh, other things that, that most people know what they can swap out. They know the ratios of them. Um, but yeah, we want that kind of coated throughout. And Brian, yeah, that's looking good. No, that's yeah, looks good. good. So while Who said you couldn't cook? Look at you. Jen, You're, don't watch this video. Jen, don't watch this. He's meaning business up here today with all of this. She's Absolutely. a great cook. That's the problem. She came from a family of great cooks. Oh, there you go. We were a family of reheaters. So uh, that's, where, yeah. <laughs> that's where I come from. So I did. I married the right person. You did. She's you did. Yin yin right. yang, they say. Oh, there's, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of yin around <laughs> this end of things. Me too. For, My poor husband. 31 years, July. Well, God I, bless Jennifer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's only known me a few years. He goes, that's enough. Yeah. That's enough. Well, and what's funny is we keep, we kind of keep track of each other because we have yeah. the same anniversary year. So oh. date and year, the day, the and, day year. and year, the day the, and year. Yeah, is oh, that exactly. Right? Same. And his yeah. wife's name is Jennifer. Jennifer. Yeah. So if go. I was just a John, we'd really be all twinsies. I yeah. was say. <laughs> My brother's name is John. John. How do you like that? There you go. <laughs> So on on the he goes. There's another cold coke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we kind of that's the best. That's thing. good. No, that's good. You, got, you got it good. You swash, you swash the appropriate amount out of the bowl. That that's what I'm we sorry. like. So no, 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 no. This is how you know you're cooking when you can see the remains of it. On is the that dish. how you do it? That's yeah. how I do it. So on the um, we have the 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 chunked pineapple in here. We put crushed pineapple in. Yes, you did. And again, this is to taste. I've seen recipes for. Uh, adding eight ounces of this, of the crushed pineapple to this. But again, if you don't like crushed pineapple, you don't have to put as much. You can put more uh, depending on the size you're making. But I used about half the half the okay. container. And okay. So uh, if you don't mind, Jim, would you please spray our pan here? I will let you do that. Aim that way, please. Oh, yeah. oh, oh the pan. Yeah, no, sir. <laughs> no, 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 aim that way. I'm, I'm going to 
go over here while Jim sprays. Is that enough? Are we yes, good? Yes, okay. Good coating. Good. Now, what do we do yeah. next? All right. So now I'm going to move this. Sure. You will take the pine. It will take this. Stir it up a little bit more. Yeah. Thank you. And then just pour that in, and we're going to mix it all up. There's a little more liquid probably in this than you would than we'd normally have. Like I said, there was a little bit more Look in the that. cans, oh, and that's fine. You can drain your crushed pineapple if you want to. Um, I Slurry your and I. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> See, it never ends. There you oh, go. You want to keep, yeah, maybe, yeah, keep mixing that up. That's going to be good. Well, I, just, I want to dive in already. Yeah, when we invited you, we're putting you to work. See? Yeah. I we're know. standing here watching you cook. <laughs> Your ACMC folks are always working on something. That's so, right. Allison, we, we would be remiss if we didn't remind people it's that time of the year for flu shots, pneumonia shots. Ooh. Uh, the, uh, right there, boy. Had them both. Yep. yep. Good, good. Obviously, we have the COVID vaccines that are out, mm -hmm. um, and just and again, you cannot get those season. together here. You need mm -hmm. to right. make an appointment. I get that. So you have to absolutely. Right. They, have, they have to be separate. But it is it is that time of the year. We've we've talked about even in our offices how you've got there's stomach virus, head colds, uh, flu, uh, what a uh, RSV. There's a lot of different That's things going around right now. Isn't that wonderful? Is this is wonderful, John. Yes. This already. Yeah, this, can this we just really, dive into this? You know, it can, <laughs> but wait. There's more. It's better. All right. Go ahead and pour that this in there. This goes in here. Yes, that goes in there. Here's the trick of the camera. Okay, let's get it in there. Now, this normally would be in an 8x8 eight eight baking dish, which we don't have in the wellness kitchen at the moment. So we're going to spread this out as best we can in a much larger dish. That seemed to be sort that's of good. That's doing good. what that's you good. do. That's yeah, good. That's now, perfect. Now, what do you do? This is the fun part. You take that entire container, it's two cups of cheese. Oh, my word. And you sprinkle that over the top of that. Now, I said I, I've never had cheese on pineapple, but then I corrected myself and said I've had pineapple on pizza, which yep. has cheese. So I have had cheesy pineapple, yep. and I love pineapple on pizza. So. Right, and we don't want to start a debate about whether or not you have pineapple on pizza. No, we don't. No, but no, you don't. That's here's the this. This is, <laughs> oh, the this is this is one of those dishes that you get a little taste of everything with it. Um, Adding it down, and and Lori, again, Lori Gilhausen pointed out this is not something you would need a whole lot of it, especially if you're diabetic or pre-diabetic. And I have to admit, some of my numbers, I kind of, you know, I think it's important that you get your numbers checked at least at once ACMC, a year. See, absolutely, once or twice a year, because you keep track of how that how your health is improving or not, and then you don't wait until you feel bad, right? Because That's what a good what point. Are, what do providers always tell you? There are some things you can get that may not have symptoms. So, or the symptoms, by the time you get the symptoms, it's much further along progress. So Absolutely. make sure you, you do the blood work, check your numbers. But this has, six, uh, one serving of this has about 63 grams of carbs in it, which is a lot, yeah. especially if you're watching your carbs, watching your sugar level. So again, there's things you can substitute out. She suggested instead of having the juice from this, use water. Okay. Now, I, I just like that pineapple taste. That's in it's true. Right. That takes out so much of the sugar. sugar out of okay. It. Um, you can leave the sugar out entirely. Yeah. Again, this is from the South, so they recommend lots of butter and lots of sugar. Sure. Or try the word moderation. I was moderate, just going to say, yeah. say So instead moderation. of eating that much, you eat that <laughs> much. Take a good bite true. and say thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that, go, that goes on top. Oh, whoops. All right, this goes That's on the right. top. That goes on yeah. top. This is one of those up. dishes that you can take somewhere. Yeah. Everybody can have just a yeah. little bit. Again, I learned something don't. new. Well, and, and, and quite, <laughs> quite honestly, it, it takes about maybe 15 minutes to put all this together. We've been talking and having fun. Sure. Like you should in a kitchen. If you've got a group of people, you should enjoy being Enjoy together. being together. Right. All right. That's not bad. So we we, we have that. Um, and that's it, kind of the top it is part. advisable to cook it right away. So we're going to let Allison What's worry the normal about cooking this. on this thing, then? The, oh, you cook, this, this goes 300, right 350 oh, sorry, minutes. Whoops, like 30, 350 minutes. 350 degrees for 30 minutes. That's not bad at all. No. So you put this in. You make that dish up. And, and you've got... A lot of uh, your meals already fixed, and people may invite you back over again. Yep. Alex, I'm just gonna uh, slide that in. I'm let you. That is that done. That is that oh. done. Absolutely. <laughs> Look so at that. We're gonna All give right. everybody a little. Serve yourself up here. 
So, so honestly, honestly, it's just, it's that, just that easy, guys. guys. These are pretty, these are simple, pretty simple recipes. Now, I'm going to tell, tell you, tell you um, um, they're, 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 not they're not the healthiest, and I know, and I know, know that we normally do a lot, do a lot of the healthier recipes, recipes but, we thought, but we thought, you know what, you know it's, what? it's come, come fall, fall, cold, get some, some comfort food. There you go. That's another one of them You are our guest, sir. We always serve our guests first. Well, thank you, but that's fine. Look at this. You're, you're kind of family any more than you are a guest at yeah. this point, but we're still going to serve you first. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> family status. I know what that yeah. means. Arguments and fights 24-7. That's right. <laughs> and honestly, we sat back and let you do all the cooking today. So my, sorry, my Jennifer. Wife, my wife, Jennifer. See a commercial that says, we treat you like family. She goes, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Don't she's treat me not, like family. She's yeah. not wrong. Well, well, like I pointed out, now if you look at this, I don't um, know which one to do first. I know, I know. This one has a little bit more flour in it. When I made this, it's a home, little thicker. I put, yeah, I wanted to get it a little more uh, cobbler-like. Okay, but, which it is. Yeah. So, yeah, um, so does that look good? All yeah, right, I, I want to. I definitely want to. I'm going dive going one, two, three. I'm dive it in. What do we do? Let's do, do, it. do. Right, first. Let's do that. Me too. I can make that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, man. Very yeah. simple. I almost took a That is right not now. too bad. I like it. Good. I like it. Nothing. It's all good. Yeah. 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 I mean, you've got your pasta, you've got your carbs in there, but. Now, we earlier we talked about if you want to add a little bit of meat to this, what did you. Oh, you just took a bite. So, this is a good base mm -hmm. for other things, whether it's spices or meat or. That's right. Um, I I'll put diced ham in, oh, really? in there sometimes if I want to. Take I can see turning that a little more Mexican flavor yeah, too. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what I said. This is Ooh, really yeah. all yeah, into interpretation. I have, oh, John, you got to do your thing. Yeah. Try that. I did. Yeah, that was it. Did you try it? Yet? I have not. No. Yeah, wait, you watch this one. I'm okay. gonna watch you. Okay. Uh -oh. Watch me oh. drop it. I'm glad I didn't wear a white shirt. No, it is. It's very tasty, isn't it? Mm. It just needs that pine. It's not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. I'm not going sugar blast. It's just pineapple. -y. It okay. is. That is delicious. And that's though. actually the risk of this is you don't taste a lot of that sugar. So you're like pineapple is a batch of that. Mm. The sugar's in there. So <sighs> moderation, just yeah. exactly what we talked about. Yeah, we're, moderation. We're both it? good. We will post these recipes uh, okay. in, in the comments section and on the YouTube uh, description of this. But really, the this, especially this pineapple dish, a lot of this is to taste. So experiment. That's a fun thing that I think about. I'm a creative person in, in, in my day job. And a lot of times when I get home and you're just overstressed with things, I get in the kitchen and I experiment. I cook. I play. Absolutely. And that's a stress yeah. relief. I, I guess it's that still that creative side, but it's something hands-on instead of you're just there on the computer or moving a mouse around. Yeah. And so yesterday when I got home, I'm like, what does this taste like with more sugar, less flour, this, that? That is a good yeah. batch. Yeah. So. And I do dress this up a little bit, too, at home, but I just wanted something that people could see. It's very simple, and it's very tasty. It was simple. Huh? And that, that's you could, it. You could vary the cheese in that to vary the taste. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've done a couple of different cheeses in yeah. there, too. That's very good. It's wonderful. And I'm wondering Thank you now, so much for somewhere. coming with us, coming to cook with us, Jim. I'm we, glad to we be here. We appreciate you coming out and talking with us. And we mm. thank you for having us at, on your show and letting us come visit you and talk we about We enjoy ACMC. having ACMC. We have two different visits in the month, second Thursday and fourth Thursday or yeah. something like that. Yeah, second mm -hmm. and fourth every month. We talk about stuff for the hospital, Dr. Williams, whatever it is. Our dinner with the doc, our veterans Everything. dinner. Absolutely. We've, we've done a lot. And we appreciate you having us out. Thanks. We love it. We The community loves you. Community partnership, we right? You. Yes. Yeah. We appreciate you. So uh, you weren't too bad today, so I might extend another invitation. Show's not over yet, folks. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to have a blooper reel. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, no, we're we're glad to have you out again. Thank you. You you cut the cheese very well. So you did. Thank you you did. so much. Yes. He <laughs> took your joke. He took your joke. <laughs> I'll just have another bite of pineapple. It's our show. And pineapple show delight. The last that's joke. right. Oh. That's right. <laughs> it's our pineapple guys. It is really good. What and and some mm. people will mix the cheese in with the pineapple. I think it's good on top because then you can tr control how much. I cheese. That's true too. I almost forgot there was cheese in there. Yeah. I almost forgot there was it's cheese in the mix, in right? Yeah. yeah. Cuz you're not yeah. you're not overwhelmed with cheese. Yellow I can tell you that. Not when I tasted I mean, this, that? I almost right forgot there, like light and flaky. When I poured two cups of cheese on it, I thought, that's, that's way, way too, too much. much. And I like cheese, but I thought that's way oh, too much. If you're but a unit guy, mm. 
Mm. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. It really is Absolutely delicious. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you guys. Wonderful. Well, thanks Thank for you. coming out sure. and cooking yeah. with us. We we'll appreciate you. Appreciate being here. Thanks for the invite. Sure. I didn't bring a dish with me, so am I saying could ever come back again? You're, you may take one with you on your way out. We have yeah, enough food here. <laughs> Not only do we have what we prepared last night, we have what we prepared tonight. <laughs> that's right, that's right. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Please look at um, all of our other Facebook posts. We would love our veterans here in Ashfield County to come to our Veterans Appreciation Lunch. We're going to have a pinning ceremony. We're going to have the orchestras there. Yep. The young Marines are going to be there. We have some giveaways for a lot of the vets. It's absolutely, totally free. Um, the sponsors are paying for that to honor our vets. You and your family members can come with you and have a free meal. So please look at that. Please RSVP. We have a lot of great things going on here at ACMC. They so have saving time ends coming up soon. Oh, so are you ready for that? That is yeah. coming soon. We're already yes. talking to a couple of doctors. What do you need to do to get ready with sleep and everything else? Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. Well, thanks again, guys, for, for joining me. And we look forward to seeing you at our wellness kitchen next month. See you next time. Bye-bye.